Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced OSCE Nurse Trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. Uh, so welcome back to my channel again with another adult NMC OSCE video for you. Uh, and if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel and keep sending those positive comments. Uh, it does really help me. Uh, just keep me motivated to keep doing more videos for you to help you to revise and looking like it, that it is helping um, So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Okay, so let's look at today's topic So I am back with another evidence-based practice because you've been asking me looking at the comments on the YouTube You've been asking me to cover this one. This one is fever in children So when I try to cover the evidence-based practice for you station for you I try to make you understand because the answers are you know that your marking criteria give you the guidance on answer but I guess it is so many topics and so difficult to memorize everything by heart if you don't understand it well so my aim is to make sure that you understand these topics well so I have already done plenty of topics on evidence-based practice so we're going to cover fever in children today I will make you understand what is the current practice um, and then how to write your answers okay so we're going to look at uh, a scenario we're going to look at a kind of research article and then we're going to write our answers together after discussing what it is okay so that's so my aim is to make you understand so it's easy for you to remember okay so let's get started uh, so evidence-based practice you know is your 10 minute station is your written station just a quick recap you will be given a scenario then you will be given a kind of uh, recent research article uh, just one one page and to read and then to write your recommendation as bullet points points draw conclusion and write your uh, write your recommendations so that's what you need to do in evidence-based practice so today's topic which is fever in children so we will look at a scenario uh, as you can see on the screen let's read the scenario and then we will see what is the current practice in this topic so as you can see on your screen now so the scenario is just made some you will have something similar in your exam will not be exactly the same one but just to give you an idea so you are a practice nurse at the gp surgery now mr thomas has brought his little boy called james for his uh, routine vaccination at the age of five so uh, mr thomas has a son so he's brought his son in now mr thomas is asking you when james get fever with cups and cold which is quite common in children um, uh, which is quite often should they give him paracetamol or ibuprofen okay so that's what uh, mr thomas is asking you he's the parent he's brought his son for routine vaccination but as you know children do get uh, cups cold temperatures quite often so he's asking you should he give paracetamol to his son or ibuprofen is better which one is better for treating fever in children so that's our topic okay so then you as you can see you get a blank page to write to read uh, so then you get a study as you can see there is I have found something online uh, so that's the study which was done uh, whether ibuprofen is better or paracetamol is better so I've just kind of put the extract of that study now it may not be exactly the same study you get in your exam so don't completely rely on it but just try to understand the topic okay so the study is there for you and now if we go to the next screen uh, as you can see it's a blank page for you to uh, write your answers so okay so let's uh, then writing about answers so if we uh, look at the study and the evidence again uh, as you will read it you won't get much time to read that day uh, but you know you might look through it very very quickly but you should know what is the current practice anyway in for fever in children so at the moment the current recommendation based on the evidence is that the both paracetamol and ibuprofen are equally effective in treating fever in children that's the biggest thing to think about other thing to think about is 
like i said earlier children get cops cold fevers very very often pick up from first uh, pick up from nurseries pick up from schools is very common for children to pick up these viruses and uh, uh, is, is and having a um, temperature is is just the immune response is immune response okay so uh, because their body is no used to all these viruses and bacteria we we as adult have seen loss of viruses and bacteria our body knows and it doesn't react the same way a child body does now child body uh, they see all these they come across all these new viruses which their body hasn't got immunity for already so they get ill quite uh, quite often okay uh, no severely ill but they do get cuffs cold fevers quite uh, quite often so other thing to think about is do you need to give a child something for fever not necessarily unless is making them quite distressed okay it's making them uncomfortable they're very hot and very uncomfortable yes but if it's a mild fever but they otherwise eating drinking watching telly reading a book are they in discomfort no if they're not in discomfort it's not needed but if they are in distress the fever is causing them pain or distress then of course if fever is making them distressed or uncomfortable then yes it's recommended to give uh, something for fever but otherwise there is no need so that's another important point um, another thing to think about is um they're both safe to give both ibuprofen and paracetamol are equally safe to give to children uh, so that's another thing and then you can tell the uh, parent other thing is uh, now we know ibuprofen uh, if we give it take it ourselves or give it to children we should encourage the child to eat something before they take it because it can cause gastric upset uh, now means if you look at the pharmacology it's absolutely safe uh, they say uh, to take a empty stomach for but short term like up to seven days but it definitely recommended that is taken with food because it is quite common side effect of ibuprofen to cause stomach irritation okay uh, gastric side effects so it's important and then um, again if the child has asthma uh, both paracetamol and Mm, ibuprofen can make it worse respiratory symptoms okay it can exaggerate the uh, respiratory symptoms both paracetamol ibuprofen not just ibuprofen another thing to think about is um, i know in adults we say paracetamol is okay if somebody is have uh, have history of asthma uh, more than ibuprofen but in children it causes similar effect okay so that's another thing to think about another thing is um, some health professional do think actually ibuprofen is better uh, ibuprofen has more side effects uh than the paracetamol but that's there is no evidence at the moment okay so that's what this study talks about not in direct way but indirect way so is uh, so now we're gonna we understand the topic a bit better so we're going to go ahead and write our answers so let's look at the next sheet then uh, so uh, you first thing you will write is i have read the article and conclude that both paracetamol or ibuprofen uh, can be given safely to children for treatment of fever that's the conclusion okay so let's write our recommendations now so i write my recommendation at bullet points below the first one is i will explain to mr thomas uh, that fever is an important immune mechanism in fighting the underlying infection which we already talked about and it is recommended to treat a fever only and only if causing distress to the child okay if otherwise child is okay there is no need so let's talk let's look at it again uh, i will explain to mr thomas that the fever is an important immune mechanism in fighting the underlying infection and it is recommended to treat a fever only only is the key word here if it is causing distress to the child okay so that's the first thing second thing is number two i will tell mr thomas that both paracetamol or ibuprofen can safely be used to treat the fever okay number three i will inform mr thomas that it is recommended that brufen ibuprofen is taken with food to reduce potential gastric side effects okay 
and they should encourage the child to eat something when taking ibuprofen. However, I will explain that ibuprofen is safe to administer with or without food in the short term. That is kind of up to seven days. It's not recommended. It's okay to give, but the recommendation is uh, that a child should eat something. Okay. Next one. Uh, I will consider whether the child has asthma. Uh, as both ibuprofen and paracetamol can make respiratory symptoms worse. So you should think about that and ask uh, the parent. Okay. So number five now. Uh, I will explain that healthcare professional may perceive that ibuprofen has more adverse effects, side effects than paracetamol in children, but that there is no evidence to support this because we know in adults, uh, you know, uh, anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen can cause more side effects than simple paracetamol, but it's different for children. So, uh, you know, that's what the, uh, the evidence is showing at the moment. So I will explain that healthcare professional may perceive that ibuprofen has more uh, adverse effects than paracetamol, but there is no evidence to support this at the moment. Okay, so uh, now you understand the topic a bit better, hopefully, um, uh, between uh, difference between uh, paracetamol and ibuprofen to treat fever in children as and these answers are like guided answers from your marking criteria so i just wanted you to understand this better so hopefully you do so if you do like the video please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel and also you can visit us on oskinastraining.com and email us for our training uh, if you want to inquire more at training at outlook.com uh, and keep sending those lovely comments okay and uh, keep watching the channel and i'm really hoping that it's helping you so i will soon be back with another video for you so bye for now